anybody can make a sandwich? Well, yes, anyone can make a sandwich, but I'm showing you how I made my sandwich on my new series here for how to cook vegan for beginners. I'm taking you on my journey with all the same recipes that I used when I first started my vegan transition, and one of those recipes was this chickpea tuna salad sandwich. I know it's super basic, but I told you it's going to be super basic because we have to make it easy, tasty, and something that we're going to stick with and this is one of the recipes that I absolutely really do love but it's a double win because what do we do with all of those chickpeas left over from making all of our aquafaba recipes right so we're draining the water from the cans of chickpeas to make our wonderful baking recipes and then what are you doing with all these chickpeas right I mean how much hummus can one person eat and I've never been a real big hummus eater hey you big hummus eater it is so easy to make you just throw everything into a food processor put it on some bread and it's done so I know you guys are probably like okay this is what these recipes are gonna be but actually yeah because I'm showing you my same exact food journey from when I transitioned to my vegan diet and this is one of the recipes so check it out all right so here is everything that I'm going to need for my chickpea tuna sandwich so I'm using low sodium garbanzo beans because I actually have a really hard time finding no salt garbanzo beans so um, I'll just be adjusting the salt based on how much is in these cans I've got my trusty Ezekiel bread which I love for sandwiches but of course you can use any bread that you like whenever I'm making anything that's to resemble some sort of a fish dish like fish cakes or crab cakes and of course my chickpea tuna salad I like to add some nori sheets in there and I'm gonna grind those up really fine in a spice grinder um, I feel like that just really does the best job for it this is completely optional you can leave it out but I do think it adds just a little taste of the sea into our chickpea tuna salad so of course here are my seasonings I've got salt and pepper and again I'm going to adjust that salt based on the saltiness in my beans and once again I've got my Kalanamic this is completely optional and as I explained in my last video for cheesy tofu scramble this black salt really does give a bit of an eggy taste to it so um, you could leave that out if you don't want that in there I kind of like it I will be adding in some celery and some red onion into my chickpea tuna and a little bit of parsley as well. Today to go along with my sandwich I decided I'm going to roast up some fingerling potatoes here. A little bit of garlic powder, some rosemary and some olive oil and then salt and pepper. I love these little potatoes. They roast up really fast and obviously they're called fingerlings because they look like little fingers. And also just look at the different colors too. All right, so into a small bowl, a little bit of garlic powder, some dried rosemary, salt and pepper. Just toss them around. And into a preheated 375 degree oven for just about 20 minutes. So I actually decided I'm going to add a carrot to my chickpea tuna salad too. Um, and what I love about making this recipe is that I do everything in the food processor. So all I have to do is chop these up into just smaller pieces so that the food processor can handle it a little bit better. of that nori, pepper, just a sprinkling of that kalanamak. Again, the chickpeas were salted, so I don't want to go overboard too much here. Now, I don't like to do too much in the processor while the beads are in there because I don't want to make hummus. I'm not trying to make a paste. I do want it to still remain chunky. And now for the star of the show, your mayonnaise. Now you can do all of this by hand, just mashing up the chickpeas with a fork. You don't need to use a food processor for it, but again, I think it just makes easier work of everything. I 
All right, it's perfect timing because now our roasted potatoes are done. I really just cooked them for 20 minutes exactly, and they were fork tender. Okay guys, so here you have it, a real quick and simple and very delicious lunch option that you can use, especially a way to use up all of those chickpeas like I said, or all these aquafaba desserts that we're making nowadays. So this is just a really quick and fast option and it's so good. I do love these roasted potatoes. Now I love french fries of course, but roasted potatoes are such a healthier option. They're so quick to make, just like no mess, you're not frying up oil in the house and mmm. They're just so good. So, rosemary roasted fingerling potatoes with chickpea tuna salad sandwiches. Mmm. It's really good. Use any vegetables that you like. I used carrot and celery and parsley and red onion and I love that so much. That little addition of nori though gives it a little bit of a taste of the sea. And of course, we know this isn't tuna salad, it's actually more just chickpea salad sandwiches, which there's nothing wrong with that, but when we want to try to mimic the flavors and the textures that we're used to and familiar with during our transition, this is a really winning way to go. So I hope you'll try this recipe. I do hope that you are liking my new series for how to cook vegan for beginners. If you do, be sure to subscribe here to my channel, click that bell so you get the notifications for when I'm uploading again. And of course, I'll be back again really soon with more great baking recipes from Gretchen's Vegan Bakery. Until then, happy vegan cooking. Bye for now. I'm always afraid I'm gonna have like a big piece of parsley stuck in my tooth when I eat on these videos. Mm, but this is so good. It would be worth it. <laughs>